turn off your television sets, turn them off now, turn them off right now, turn them off and leave them off, turn them off right in the middle of the sentence I'm speaking to you now, turn them off! <laughs> Hello, it is us. We are uh, recapping Succession this time around. Uh, we, we're, 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 we're we're going to we're going to test Ryan doing two shows at once. You know, with you know, with 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 D and her her family <laughs> obligations, and me taking um, how much twelve graduate school hours. We're going to see how this works. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we are here to recap uh, Succession. Um, I have no idea what the name of this episode is. I am not on my game with this one, but oh, how's it going? Do your, job. do your job. I am great. How are you? You know, I I I am just here to watch the the world burn and the um the selling of Waystar Royco. You know, I'm just just out of me, out of me, ten billion dollars. Yeah, which is nothing. Just the way that we're talking about ten billion. Oh, the monsters, of course. I knew that the monsters. Yeah, the monsters. Who's Eddie? That's only one I know. <laughs> so, um, obviously, I like the fact that they start this episode at the at the birthday party because it's kind of like a like closing a loop almost. Because mm-hmm. where do we start the show? We start the show with the birthday party. They want to be Issa so bad. Yeah. So bad. But yeah, definitely start. And I mean, we've had some great birthday parties because too much birthday was... One hell of an episode. You remember, we got rapping, the rapping Kendall Roy. <laughs> it always what was his name. The Ken? What was his name? What's his rapping name, Ronnie? I can't remember. I don't. I don't know, but I know L to the OG. Yeah. L to the OG. <laughs> please, no, no, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, but it was, it was, yeah. So birthdays, yes, you're right. That does. That's a nice full circle moment, especially since we know that this is the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the How do you end. feel about that before we get to this? How do you feel about that? You think it's time? I So, here's the thing. This show probably can't go on for 10 seasons. But mm-hmm. you gotta ask yourself, um, how much, you know, rich white people pettiness can we take? My answer is a lot. Like, a lot. But at the same time, I feel like they made the conscious decision to like go out while they're still on top. And I respect that like, because yeah, based on the events of last season, like this feels like a natural stopping point. I also feel like Brian's like le- legitimately probably like, I can't take much more of this. Like as a person, yeah, yeah. not, not Logan, Brian. I think Brian's yeah. like, Hey, like I uh, enough. So yeah, he, he's up. kind of mentioned his annoyance <laughs> So much so that he, um, in an interview, he kind of, I mean, it's still vague, but he kind of puts a spoiler out there. He was like, yeah, the show is going to end with Logan getting what he deserved. And I guess we'll see what that means. But the fact that he even said that is like interesting. Yeah, I I guess it depends on what you think Logan deserves, too. So. Well, considering that he like. The devil? Hates. Like he hates the character Logan that he's playing so well. Oh, okay. So I don't think it's gonna mean a good thing. He's legit evil. Like I if nothing else, right? Like Logan's has done some terrible things. But if nothing else, I want people to always remember Boy on the Floor. That was the worst thing I have mm. seen, like in a while. And I mean that outside of like gratuitous violence, because you know that's always bad. But this was mm. almost worse because it seems like something that could legit happen. I know people die. I mean, I'm not saying that murder can't happen, but of course, when we see murder and gratuitous violence on television, I at least have the idea of, okay, they're drumming this up for the show to make it worse. So you can really feel how bad it is, you know, to see how evil this person is. To me, that was perfect. Like, I didn't need to see anything else. And and this is somebody that slapped their grandchild. Keep that in mind. I still think that was worse. And in this episode, he's asking his driver who um, who he calls his best friend simply for the reason that he doesn't have like any like stake in Logan at all. And he's just there to like serve a purpose. He's like, you're my best friend. But he asks his driver, like his security guy, what are people? 
Yeah. What do you mean? What are people? You are a person. Yeah. Like and what are people? Like what? Yeah. And, what are relationships? What is anything? And it's like it's 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 funny too because he said what are people, and then even when he was talking about it, he kept saying they they are this they are that not mm. we almost mm-hmm. like he sees himself literally above mm-hmm. everybody else. It's like I'm Logan, I'm mm-hmm. a god, and then it's y'all. So mm-hmm. what are y'all like? Who who are you? to even challenge me. And I think that's a direct result of him thinking about his children. Like who, who, like who are they to even think that they could pull this off and why are they challenging me? And it's like, you're a person, Logan, you're a very rich person, but you're a person just like the rest of us. I don't think he realizes that. I honestly don't think he, he thinks that way. I think he really thinks he's above everybody. Yeah, and it's like nothing matters to him, like not his kids, not his nothing, nobody. You think they matter? Like, I think that's the that's the weirdest thing to me when it comes to succession. I I don't understand that family dynamic because mine is very different. Like even the family members that I don't necessarily that I'm not necessarily close to. I'm not estranged from any of them in in any way like that. So I don't understand it. I know how I know how it can happen. I get it. But usually when it happens, people keep their distance. I don't understand how they do all of this stuff. And then they still are in each other's orbit purposefully. Mm -hmm. All right. Like. Like if I fall out with a family member, Lord forbid, I, I won't see them. Right. Like I can make a choice not to see him or at least not to talk to him. But even like Shiv and, um, and Romulus, I don't get them at all. Like all they do is yeah. fight, <laughs> but they love each other so much. It's so weird. Because that's, that's the that's the weird. That's yeah, that's the weird part, because like if one of them, like any of them in the equation was just like, I'm just not going to talk to you anymore. They would actively seek that person out because they would be like, no, this is our dynamic. And we have to like, just mess with you constantly. Mm-hmm. Like we have to like, have you in our orbit. And the craziest thing was when, um, cause remember when, um, Logan slept, uh, Romulus mm-hmm. and Ken, like, freaked out like he almost mm-hmm. you know went to blows with him and I'm like he's done worse to you like he's done mm-hmm. terrible things to you as it to Ken and you didn't have that kind of reaction but when he touched Rome it was like oh no that will not happen and not on my mm-hmm. watch I, I won't allow it I'm like but you don't even like Rome I don't get mm-hmm. I don't I don't I just don't I don't get it and I guess that's the best part too because I one of my favorite TV, not tropes, I guess uh, one, of, one of the things I like and enjoy watching TV, our family dynamics and especially siblings, because I just like to see how other siblings relate. You know, I have a brother and I see I know how we are, but I'm I like to see how other people are. And I love the fact that even through all of that stuff, they end up they still end up together because that's how I feel about me and my brother. There were times, of course, I didn't like him either, but there was never a point in time where I where I hated him or I didn't want to be, you know, I didn't want to met my brother. And that's kind of how they are, but they're so extreme. I don't, I can't wrap my mind around it. Like I, can't, I, I don't get it. So, but. Step Connor. Oh, no, yeah. I, no, I'm going to say, so there, and it sucks there because of how their dad views himself and how they view him. Their mm-hmm. only purpose in life is to try to like oh, yeah. one up him because th- still even underneath mm-hmm. all of this, like they only want to screw him over because they know if they actually get him, he's going to be impressed by them. That's all this is. And, 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 with, and, and with that, they mm-hmm. <laughs> start off by making a very stupid decision. Morons. More like I, I was sad when he called them that because they look so crushed. Mm. But they are legit morons, and it's his fault. That's the that's the worst part of it. It's his fault because he says something very important. He was like, "Congrats on saying the largest number," which means, "Oh, you you, you ain't think won. You got me. You, you think win. you got me?" Because, <laughs> uh, go ahead, yeah, <laughs> go ahead. So I'm, let you fin- I'm just saying because she sh- listen. People, I always have a problem when women are written bad, right? Because they, they, it's, it's when they're stupid, right? You, you write this woman who should otherwise be intelligent. You just write her dumb. 
they've written Shiv poorly because that's just how she like she's supposed that's to she be is. a dummy. Yeah. yeah. And she's like the dumbest woman. I know it just pisses me off so bad. Because when he said congrats on, like you said, saying the largest number, she was smiling like they won. And my first thought was, why are you smiling? Mm-hmm. Like, why, why, why are you not like at least thinking what you what did that mean? And I guess she didn't want, want to let him steal her joy or whatever else. But like, you got to think like your head got to be on a swivel at all times. It's Logan. How many times have y'all come at him and missed Mm-hmm. At least how many seasons has it been? Five, four, so at least three. Yeah, this season four, yeah, <laughs> at least three times. Because oh, let, let's 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 the stage here because like the the deal that they're doing actually doesn't matter, but I'll talk about it anyway. So they went to um, Alexander Skarsgård character last season, who has like this. What's his name? I I forgot the character's name, but we're gonna see him. He's just uh, Eric like Northman. A, <laughs> yeah, Eric Northman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but he has this platform, this video platform, this mobile mm-hmm. platform, because um, they want to take Waystar Vertical like more digital. So they're like, we're going to buy your platform. What's but it called? Dur- Gojo. But during negotiations, he was like, actually, tell your dad I want to buy the whole damn company. And Roman takes it back to his dad, who he's like, yeah, that's not going to go for this. And And his dad is like, I mean, I don't have a like a successor. It's time to get out the game. Why not? But I'm I'm all about the money. So we opened <laughs> up this season. Your child. <laughs> so, so we opened up this season with um basically um Logan is trying to build up like the like the Waystar Warico like war chest by acquiring Pierce, which will like bump the price up essentially. So, you know, when they enter the tables to talk about the negotiations because they have this, um, this print media format folded into waste our vertical. Like the deal is still going to happen, but the valuation is going to be like higher now. The, the part with like that, the, the key is plans is they were tossing out numbers. Like, because Roman broke it and, and Roman broke it out. He was like, you realize what like a billion dollars is. Right. And they're like, Oh, it doesn't matter. But they're, Money is contingent upon the selling of Voice Star Vertical. Like, why would Logan now allow them? Basically, why would he do something to allow them to come up? Well, the, I, the only thing I could think of is yes, sell your share so you're no longer ha- you have no stake whatsoever in this company anymore. That's my thought. Or, like you said, build them up, Buttercup. Just to break them down. Because, yeah, they like, all right, so this is selling their shares and then the Gojo sale happens. If they sell their shares now, they're just asked out that he could be it's, like, well, yeah. Yeah. They, because I, what, they are more if, he, if, he, like, if he pauses that and says like, okay, I'm not going to go in that direction anymore. Like, what are you going to do? Where's the money? Exactly. Right. Where's the money? They, because all of it is contingent on that part of it. Because who, who, not Frank, who said that? Somebody explained it. What's his mm-hmm. name? The other one that's that's in Roy's camp. I can't yeah, remember. I know, you talk, I know you're talking about the, the guy who was like, yeah, I'm not touching this. I am counsel. I am not touching yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, by the way. Mm-hmm. Alexander Scar's Scar, name is Lucas. Okay. Okay. We're not going to remember that next episode, but I just want y'all to Eric, know his name is Lucas. Man. Eric Northman. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please carry but on. I was just going to say that I feel like that negotiation scene where there's, um, you know, Nan Pierce in the middle of the kids and Logan was probably one of like the best things I've seen the show do because it shows how it's like they, they have this language on top of like what they're actually saying. And it's like, oh, I have such a headache, which means like if rich people talk, sorry, you showed up late, but my ear will perk up if you make the right offer. So it brings them in and says like, the headache is subsiding. Your dad made a favorable offer. I really don't want to be caught in the middle of this, but you know, have some, have some wine, which, which means, (laughs) which means I've got to like toss out what his number is. 
And not saying I'm like actively negotiated, but if you want to go over that, we can talk then. So like the going back and forth and Roman, I mean, not excuse me, not Roman, Logan is something very important that shows like who he is. He's like, he was like five. We're staying at five. That's it. The kids thought he was at a certain number and they jumped way above it. They are morons. But you do know Nan did that, right? Mm -hmm. Did you Mm -hmm. pay attention to it? Because like you said, just like that language, she was like, I mean, because you throw out numbers Mm -hmm. because then there's seven and then there's eight and then there's nine. And then, I mean, Mm -hmm. what's next? And Rome was like, hmm, I mean, what's after nine? (laughs) It's ten. (laughs) I'm like, y'all. Now, again, I... I guess some part of me likes the Pierces better because they are they have been proven to be the lesser of two evils mm-hmm. because they are actually providing real news. Right. Um, mm-hmm. If this happened, I mean, she said at one point, well, if we buy them, where where am I going to get my news? Like she even right. knows. <laughs> she's like, where, she knows. where am I going to get the news? Like who who's going to have the actual news? So to see her say that then and then now take this opportunity just to stick it to her dad, it's just like you said, they're all they're doing it for his attention Mm -hmm. still. And I don't even know if they know that. Subconsciously, they got to know, right? Or maybe not. They're still children. Yeah, it's it's, trying to impress daddy. Because like it goes back to like. When Kendall was doing his his thing and he was like, yeah, I'm just trying to stick it to dad just to like get his attention so he'll know like I'm, I'm that guy. But but yeah, they, they are all like for different reasons because, you know, she'll think she's him. You know, Kendall wants to like take over and then just for Roman is like just scared of him. But for all different reasons, they're trying to like stick it to him in a different way. But yeah, that's what this all is about. Um. It, OK, so. I guess I'm trying to look here because I I had a real question about what you were just saying. So when it comes to the money in itself, okay, we're saying they have to, they're saying $10 billion and they're saying it very flippant, like it's nothing, like you were saying, like they they really are saying it like it's no big deal. Um, It brings me back to Connor because we were talking about him. Mm -hmm. $100 million. That's what he wanted to spend so that he would be, so he keep his 1%. All right. And I was <laughs> I will I wanted to bring that up because it also segues into Willa because she's like, I mean, but you'd still be, you know, rich, right? And I'm thinking, wait, what? What are you what are you doing? Because this is about to be your husband. And if he's poor on on their level of whatever, then what does that make you? That's exactly I, her concern. That is her concern. She's like, hey, uh, so why you know, she had, why she even agreement. entertaining him paying another hundred million dollars because she don't want to deflate him? I don't think she's entertaining him. I think she's gonna try to talk about it. But. I hope she does. I hope she does because he's being ridiculous. Like he's the he's probably the biggest moron of them all. And again, mm-hmm. that's also that's still Logan's fault because he's never done anything. He's never had mm-hmm. to. Uh, at least the other kids, you know, were in the business, but he's never had to do anything. He's never done anything. And he went from doing nothing at all, like Rome said, to the most important job in the world or trying to do the most important job in the world. Right. And that's just asinine. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it at all. Like not so even a little right. bit. Yeah. That, but I feel like they're, they are keeping him at play for like some reason. Like I have to be. Like, will he become president? Who knows? I still think it would be hilarious if he did, but they're keeping him in play for like some reason. Like, this is still a storyline for some reason. I don't know. It tracks. He could totally become president. Yeah. It tracks. It tracks. Now, Siobhan, let's talk about Siobhan and Tom a little bit. Because I, I, I was confused, but but like not, but a little, because I couldn't understand if they were trying to make me feel bad for her. I feel or... like they were. They were trying to make you feel bad for it, like the, and, and I have nothing. So I, like, like less than nothing, because the South remembers she was awful to that man, like 
terrible. She was very, very, very awful to him. It's almost like how you see <laughs> you see some people talking about they want open relationships, and usually the one that wanted the open relationship is the one that doesn't get anything, get any play, mm-hmm. and the other one starts thriving. That's kind of how it is with them now. And I'm like, I don't feel sorry for her at all. It's not about Tom, like, like not even a little, a little. And it's surprising to me that she was even a little bit sad. But I thought about it. It's not that she's sad about. She's not sad mm-hmm. about Tom at all. She's sad about losing her whipping boy. Mm-hmm. That's what exactly. it is. Yeah. It's like she's not going to have that anymore. She's just going to be she like she's just going to be shiv and it's it's not like she's she's not unattainable. She's not hard to get to. She's easily touched. And I'm not saying that in a negative way. It's because she wants to be, but I'm saying it's nothing about her that's like spectacular. Honestly, it's nothing. Well, at it's all. The, like and that's what this like show does a good job of doing because like if we're, like in real life we see like people like them like idolize and it's showing like mm-hmm. hey like behind behind the scenes they're like less impre- impressive than you are actually which is terrifying because they are impacting the course of the world but like you said I think with that like she um I was about to say to, to go hold tip for a little while. She's almost doing like the very like masculine. Like and by the way, I don't I don't subscribe to this, but it's only because like she thinks that's what she needs to like succeed in the world. But she's almost like taking on like the more like masculine like gender role mm-hmm. in her relationship because she feels mm-hmm. like that's what she saw after her dad. That that's what men need to succeed. So kind of how like. You know, like a very rich man will marry a woman just like to have an accessory or just to have someone to like close the deal or like have a conversation at the table. Like Marsha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what Tom was. And I think she's not sad about Tom. She's sad about losing like that part. A trophy. Yeah. Which is weird because he's because not- he's like, yeah. Quite, trophy. Well, quite. he is now, I guess. I mean, you know, he's under he's he's got the. The, the man, but you see, he was trying to negotiate with uh with Logan because he knows it's over too. Like he knew, yeah, mm-hmm. he knew it was over. Um, why did he call her to tell her about Naomi? Right, right. I'm still. I got. Okay. There was a part of me that's like, was he trying to throw it in her face that he's dating other people? But that doesn't feel right. And then on the second part, it feels like he was almost trying to give her some inside information. Right. Because initially, like prior to that, like without any context, I was thinking that um, Logan had him call Shiv. But but then like once once everything was revealed, it was like it seemed like he was trying to like throw that in her face. Like, hey, like some things might come out about me. Wink, 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 wink. But she would have said, yeah, I don't know. I just I think maybe because. OK. It's clear, like he said, that they'd already discussed being whatever. But then again, if they are public figures, you do need to know how to, like, I guess, get ahead of it. So it's almost like why why celebrities have to tell us they got divorced or whatever else. So when we see them out with somebody else, it won't be like, oh, my God, Gina Torres is cheating on Lawrence Fishburne. You know, like, oh, unless, unless you're unless you're T.J. Holmes. Yeah, you know, unless you're T.J. Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but no i think i think it was like yeah if you see me out with her like because that's the weird thing he was like yeah it's like not business it was actually like social and then she tried to get angry talking about my brother's ex like girl you really 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 now if kendall was a little sour about it then whatever but girl yeah like i i, I would get that I would mostly get it because I'd be like, Tom Walls cats? Really? Now, I still think the, well, probably the most funny part of this episode, which was a throwaway, was when Rome asked, I don't know her name. I guess she's his fiance or his beard. I can't remember her name. The the call girl or whatever. She oh. was, he was like, how do you know Naomi? Naomi that's what they call it, Naomi. Hmm. How do you know Naomi? And she's like, well... He's like, you had sex with her. Who who haven't you had sex with? She's like, you. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I, but I say that to say they're still showing us that Rome hasn't changed. Like his 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 heart belongs to Jerry. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like with um, 
which like the the funniest because you know they have their quips. The funniest joke of the episode is it was the show was saying like I I need a uh, basically I need an option B because you know. Kindle might like die, and you're gonna get your dick stuck in like an AI dick machine. So I need a like I need a second option here. But but he was just like, well, yeah, you're right. I probably will. And I'm like, like, I was like, yeah. I mean, I don't disagree. Yeah. Do you have one? Give it to me if you have one. Yeah. I I just I think the thing is I like that they all come back together um, because I did think it was odd. Even last season, I know Kendall was like at his at one of his lowest spots when he told them about the murder, mm-hmm. but they took everything and was like, whoa, wait a minute. My brother's in trouble. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. they, they did that. And that's the opposite of what Logan did. Logan took care of it, but he immediately exploited it. Right. Like immediately, like immediately the, the thing happened. Mm-hmm. He fixed it. And he immediately said, I fixed it. Get in line. And that's what it was, you know, because my dad told me to. So it's just the dynamic is really it, it's written well over the seasons because them coming to him and protecting him in that moment didn't feel off. Yeah. It felt like, yeah, this, yeah, that's what they would do. It feels it's, like exactly what they're doing. It feels yeah. like even even the the bickering between like Kendall and Shield was like just games until like something like real happened. They're like, yeah, we're going to come together. For this. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Except for when she had wrote that letter. I still, I still think that was probably one of the nastiest things she's done. <laughs> but other than that, yeah. they usually have each other's back <laughs> yeah. until it's time, you know, to do some dirt and ruin your brother. Cause I can do that. So yeah. Um, Marsha's in Milan shopping forever. I stand. She, she's the winner in all of this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because she don't even have to pretend anymore. She can just nah. be. Her children are taken care of. She's taken mm-hmm. care of. She can do whatever she wants to do. Logan can have his little whatever she is. I said, what she say? Friend, friend, advisor, and something. Yeah, friend. Whatever you are. Sure. She like live with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, what else? Frank? Was Frank around? Did Frank come back? Oh, maybe he wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Frank, Frank um, was in this episode. Yeah. Okay, because he I just I just remember Frank so much because again, boy on the floor. I just Yeah. <laughs> it was it was too much. I'm never gonna forget that. And um let's see what else. I think when it comes down to it, the pierces are gonna be the reason they crumble. I think they're going to break the like the Pierce the, his obsession Logan's obsession with the Pierce's. That's what I meant to say earlier when you were talking about the um them making a deal. It's not even about him just acquiring the the company because it makes good sense. He is obsessed with them, like so yeah, much he, so he that wants he's to not buy his competitor. Business. Yeah, 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 and it's not and it's not good business sense, which which also is good writing because it shows you if nothing else that he is human. Because that petty won't go away. Like a good businessman would just back off or at least strategize like, hey, let me find somebody to buy it so that I can get it on the back end. But no, he like wants them to know. It's like, you know, tell, He's tell, like, you're, you're not going to tell me. You're not gonna, you're, you're not gonna tell me no, basically. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. You're going to do it and, and I'm going to have what I want and that's going to be the end of it. And at this point, are they just, are they having financial issues? I say issues. I mean, it can't be too bad if you holding out for ten billion dollars. But it does. She said something about with somebody's wedding or something or or funeral. Which one was it? I can't remember. Yeah, I but can't remember. Nan was talking about like stuff that they that had happened, which mm-hmm. would lead to them going ahead to sell the business. So I don't know what's going on with them. I think she's just tired. Seems like yeah, she, she's probably just like. Ready She's over it. And, uh, and, you know, 10 B's will certainly make me. Shh, won't it die? <laughs> bands, bands will make her do something. <laughs> um, that's a lot of money. Like, I think I think the good part was, like you said, Rome broke it down because people need to realize that's a B. $10 billion. Mm-hmm. Not mil- $10 billion. Billion dollars. That is a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Like a lot, like a whole, whole lot of money. And they're saying it like, yeah. And then Telly 
I don't know what he is. Is he their financial advisor or, or CFO or something? Yeah, he, he's he's their he's their banker. He is he a good one? <laughs> <laughs> is he a good one or no? Because it just seemed like he was like whatever dollar amount they were like. He's like, oh, I think we can work that out. Oh, it's tight, but I think we can do it. I'm like, I you mean, said it was tight at five, and now we at ten. Well, once again, it's like contingent upon other things. So, like, I, I think account like they are taking that into account, which is like, which is like funny money at the end of the day because mm-hmm. that money doesn't even exist yet. Mm-hmm. And not to mention, like the money, like like it's all. It's not like I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and pay this power bill, and when I get paid, it's gonna cover the 140 dollars. <laughs> no, this is like several billion, <laughs> several billion dollars. <laughs> and they, it's like nothing to them though. It's like right. several billion dollars. Um, like, oh, I got it on the first. Yeah, like no. You got to talk about Sandy and Stewie though. What you think about them? Because I said the Pierces might take them down, but it might be. So basically, that's. Because <sighs> last time we we like saw Stewie like and, and and Kendall was trying to like basically like you know bump shoulders with them. Stewie was like, "Yeah, you don't scare me. I'm gonna go where the money is at every single time." Here comes Kendall once again. It's like, "Hey, Stewie, let's get into cahoots." <laughs> but but like you said, Stu- he's told him though, "I am not loyal to any of you. I am going to go." To the highest bidder. He ain't hiding right. it. He's not trying to fake it. It's like, that's what I'm going to do. That's who I am. I am the scorpion. So I am going to be the scorpion. So, so the fact that they need him to get this deal across the line, doesn't it, it ain't looking good. It ain't looking good at all. It ain't. Because it seems like he's kind of holding a little grudge, too, against them. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. hiding it, kind of, but it's there. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. there. It's there. We got a lot. How many episodes? Because it's the last season. How many episodes we got? Is it 10? I don't, I don't know. Would they give us 10? Probably 10. Maybe 10. They sh- I feel like they should give us 10. It's the last one. Last hurrah. They got to go out with a bang. Let's see. It looks like it's going to be... Yeah, 10. 10. Okay, okay, okay. And it'll end in May, so we got a little way to go, but... All right. Hmm. And for a ride, I think. Yeah, we'll... Uh, Call it now. How do you think it's going to end? You said Logan's going to get what he deserves. That's what Brian says. What do you think that means? I mean, I feel like Logan might like die at like the worst moment possible. Like I that's feel like he I mean. has to die because because like underneath like all of this, we forget that he he started the show with like health problems. Die. So I feel like I feel like right as he's like put a pen on paper about the like size of deal, like he's just gonna drop dead. So. <laughs> like it's not funny, but he like literally died the first episode, right? Like all this. Yes. Like yes. he, was, he 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 may have died for a few seconds at least. He mm-hmm. died, and he just happened to hold on. And then he had like, didn't he have syphilis or something? Or chlamydia, yeah, he, something. Yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, something that he's way too old to have. Something he shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's he's on borrowed time. I fear. Yeah. I think he's gonna die. I do. I think it's gonna end, and he's gonna die, and he might. He might actually die before, like I don't, it might not even be like the last episode. But I do think he's gonna die. I think Logan's gonna die this season, and then the kids. I don't see them winning though. Like I don't even see. I, I just see them. I don't see anyone like sad. This. Yeah, I see everybody sad except yeah. Connor because he's just gonna be continue to float in, in you know whatever it is he is but I think everybody else is going to be sad and I think Logan's going to die and it might be one of those things where people think he's going to make amends and because he's kind of almost questioning life and what's the point of it all I don't think he's going to do anything I think he's going to think his last words are probably going to be fuck off yeah fuck off yeah Yeah, and then he's going to (laughs) die (laughs) <laughs> it's it's gonna be, the, the end of Citizen Kane, they're gonna be around his bed. The snow globe is gonna drop. It's gonna say "fuck off," like okay. just in the stuff. Fuck off. Yeah, it's gonna be laying there. <laughs> yeah, I see it. You know, end credits, yeah. write it off. Static. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap up here. Um, let us know what you think. Um, let us know what you think about the first episode. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Until next time.